Are we going to get a live action Miles Morales or what? Well, in the recent Across the Spider-Verse press tour that has now started, we're starting to get some rumblings and rumors about that, and I think it really is a very possible future for the Spider-Man franchise. Let's break down what Amy Pascal had to say. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse finally brought Miles Morales to life on the big screen. But obviously this was animation and not live action, which is something many fans have wanted for a really long time. Now the movie itself got widespread critical acclaim, was a huge hit and even won an Oscar, exposing the character to more people than ever and really mainstreaming him amongst all the greater superhero community. Now, there have been some teases of Miles Morales in Marvel Studios movies. If you remember correctly, Donald Glover played Aaron Davis, who's sometimes known as the Prowler in the comics, who is also Miles' uncle. We even had a deleted scene that featured him talking about being late to see Miles, but the character has just been teased and never manifested on the live-action screen. Even the voice actor himself, Shamik Moore, has made it super clear he would love to play the actor in live action. He actually told Empire Online, I was at the premiere of No Way Home and everyone looked at me on that line. I got a lot of tweets. I feel like everyone in the world knows I would be a great live action Miles Morales. As I left the theater after that premiere, Jamie Foxx looked at me like he knew. I think Tom Holland knows too. Now, the biggest problem I see here is Moore is now 27 years old, so if Sony Studios is going to pull the trigger on him playing the character, it would have to be pretty soon, because often Miles is portrayed as a teenager, sometimes quite young teenager at around 15, so I'm not sure if this actor can continue to play the character based on how old he is at this point. Now, it doesn't mean they couldn't develop the movie and make him a little older for the film, maybe making him a senior in high school would buy him some more time, but the clock is definitely ticking. The actor even went on to say that it depends on how old they want Miles to be by the time they're ready to do the live action movie. And that's a conundrum whether or not he'll end up playing him, which is a really, really wise approach for the actor to take. Now, even Amy Pascal has chimed in with some rather coy comments about the whole thing. She actually said, Fans will have to wait and see a couple of years to see what we do. And this was in direct regards to a live action Miles Morales project. Now, we talked about some of the potential first pieces of this already being in place, with rumors about Tom Holland showing up as Peter Parker in the upcoming animated movie, and Pascal even teased a little bit of that, saying, I'm not going to comment on anything around that, but I can tell you that Tom Holland loves these Spider-Verse movies. Based on what Amy Pascal has said here, and what's going on in the Marvel Universe and the expansion overall with both companies, I would utterly be shocked if there is not some plans to bring Miles Morales to life on the big screen. Now, what kind of deal they have worked out with Marvel Studios and how Miles fits into that, we're going to have to wait and see. Honestly, Marvel referencing Miles in that first movie indicates to me that they might be making some plans for him in future films. And with Spider-Man potentially getting a new trilogy coming up, those plans could come to fruition. Now, we all know Kevin Feige likes to do a lot of his own casting, so I would imagine more would probably not be the guy they go to. But regardless, fans want to see a live-action Miles Morales, and I honestly think the time is probably better now than ever. After this new movie releases, assuming that it's as good as the first, I think Miles Morales will become a staple amongst the general public, and there really won't be a problem with developing a Spider-Man movie with a brand new Spider-Man. Where this puts Marvel, Disney, and Sony in the future, we're going to have to wait and see. Those contract negotiations can be pretty tense, and I think it's pretty clear that if Sony could have their own Spider-Man separate from Marvel's and it worked just as good, they would absolutely do it. But we're going to have to wait and see.